He said, take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts are overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness and the cares of this life, so that that day find you unprepared. For as a snare it shall come upon all that dwell upon the face of the whole earth. Watch ye therefore, pray always that you may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that are coming to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. But Jesus warned that there would be that eating, drinking, and the cares of this life would be as a trap. And that when he came, many people would not be ready, not be watching. Jesus talked about the various types of soil upon which the seed fell in those kingdom parables in Matthew's gospel. And he said some of it fell on the wayside, some fell on the stony ground, some fell on among the thorns, and some fell on good soil. And as he began to explain the parable, he said in that seed which fell upon uh, on the thorny ground, he said that uh, they are those that receive uh, the word, uh, the th but the thorns grow up with it and they choke it out that it becomes unfruitful. And as he describes the thorns, he said, the cares of this world, the deceitfulness of riches, they choke out the word and it becomes unfruitful. Tonight, would you say that that perhaps describes you? The cares of this life? The deceitfulness of riches are so occupying your life that you're not really fruitful in the things of the kingdom. Some things I'd like you to ponder, what kind of a Christian would you gauge yourself to be? Fervent, passionate? Or would you say, well, I'm sort of a take it or leave it kind of a guy probably lukewarm. Or in being honest, would you confess, you know, I've really grown cold. It is true the the things of life have just sort of crowded out and uh, the word of God in my life and I'm not really bearing fruit. You know that Jesus talked about that lukewarm condition And he said he was going to spew it out of his mouth. It was not acceptable. I pray that the Spirit of God will help us to become passionate again towards the things of God. 